After enduring a challenging 25-year polygamous marriage to Cody Brown, Sister Wives star Christine Brown has found her forever after with David Woolley. The couple celebrated their union in a dazzling ceremony held in Moab, Utah, on October 7, 2023, with an impressive guest list of 330 attendees. Notably, Janelle Brown was the sole member of the Brown family present at this fairy tale wedding, as invitations were not extended to Robin Brown, Mary Brown, and ex-husband Cody. A reliable source shared insights into Mary's perspective on not being invited, stating, Mary didn't care about attending. According to the US Sun, the source mentioned, truthfully, she could care less. They had a falling out and have been distant ever since Christine left the family and moved to Utah. They were never close as sister wives or best friends for that matter. There is no love lost between them. This revelation underscores a strained relationship between Mary and Christine, with their connection deteriorating after Christine's departure from the family and relocation to Utah. Despite the absence from the wedding festivities, Mary appears unfazed by the situation, focusing on her own path as she navigates life beyond the complexities of their shared polygamous history. In 2021, Mary Brown, one of the stars of Sister Wives, faced a double tragedy with the passing of her mother, Bonnie Alstrom, and her brother, Adam, who succumbed to cancer in October of the same year. Unfortunately, Mary did not receive any inheritance from her late mother's estate, estimated at $50,000, as Alstrom had not left a will. Amidst the emotional turmoil, Mary discreetly filed a petition in April 2021 to determine heirs and appoint a personal representative for her mother's estate. The legal proceedings unfolded as it was revealed that Alstrom had left no will. Mary was appointed as the personal representative in August 2021, and court documents indicated the estate's value at $17,685.72, including checking and savings accounts, as well as the assessed value of Alstrom's car. Sister Wives Mary Brown explains the varied lot sizes at Coyote Pass. In Sister Wives Talk Back, Part 2, Mary Brown delved into a question that's been buzzing among viewers regarding the different sizes of lots at Coyote Pass. This episode, which aired on TLC on December 29, 2023, shed light on the property in Flagstaff, Arizona, serving as both a symbol of unity and challenges within the Brown family. Mary, in her explanation, shared that the lots were originally purchased in varying sizes, a seemingly simple fact that has stirred up some complexity within the family dynamics. The property, initially divided into five lots, has been a hot topic of discussion, especially considering recent developments in the family. At the heart of the matter, the Coyote Pass property was initially divided into two size ranges, four acres and two acres. The larger four-acre lots were assigned to Robin and Janelle Brown, while the smaller two-acre lots were designated to Mary, Christine, and Cody slash the family. This initial division set the stage for subsequent discussions and decisions on the show. Mary Brown addressed the question straightforwardly, explaining that the lots were purchased in different sizes, and this was their original state at the time of acquisition. She emphasized that no alterations or modifications were made to the lot sizes post-purchase. Now, when Cody decided to keep the second two-acre lot for himself, Mary expressed her objections, deeming the decision unfair. Christine also chimed in, labeling Cody's decision as selfish and suggesting a solution, hiring a surveyor to divide the property into four equal lots aiming to address the perceived issue of inequality. Looking ahead, the future of the Coyote Pass property has been a topic of speculation, especially after significant changes in the Brown family dynamics with the divorces of Mary, Janelle, and Christine from Cody. Currently, there are no immediate plans for development or construction on the land. The focus, as reported, is on paying off the property. This lack of development activity raises questions about the future use and significance of Coyote Pass in the lives of the remaining family members, Christine Brown, a prominent figure from the reality TV show, Sister Wives, recently addressed the challenges of being a self-made woman and dealing with criticism on Instagram. Despite encountering negativity, 
She shared her resilient approach to such comments, aiming to inspire others facing similar situations. Christine advocates for drowning out the noise by embracing dazzling vibes. Her story serves not only as inspiration but also as a means to spread kindness and celebrate the achievements of fellow women. According to the TLC star, the key is to be the sunshine that chases away the clouds. To safeguard her mental peace, she takes proactive steps such as blocking trolls, limiting comments, and curating her feed with accounts that uplift and inspire. She actively builds a supportive community, referring to them as her glitter getters. In addition to managing external influences, Christine emphasizes the importance of recognizing one's own voice as a superpower. She encourages her followers not to fear speaking up against negativity and to advocate for what is right, as their courage can inspire others. As a parting message, Cody Brown's ex-wife reminds her followers that they are bolder, stronger, and fiercer than they might believe. Despite the challenges of being a self-made woman in the public eye, Christine's strategies aim to help individuals flip the script and celebrate their unique identities while focusing on their goals and building a positive community. However, the financial situation took a downturn as the assets fell short of covering debts and liabilities, which included a car loan, funeral expenses, burial costs, and a probate court filing fee. Abby Farnsworth, a legal expert in estate planning and probate matters, clarified that seeking the appointment as a personal representative does not automatically grant inheritance rights but rather entails the responsibility of settling and distributing the estate to heirs according to applicable laws. Despite the lack of inheritance from her mother's estate, Mary seems financially secure. Apart from her role in Sister Wives, she is associated with the Lularo Company and owns Lizzie's Heritage Inn, where she hosts exclusive retreats and tours. Her official move to the inn occurred following her separation from Cody Brown, her ex-husband, after a challenging 25-year polygamous marriage. In a surprising turn of events, another Sister Wives star, Christine Brown, found her forever after with David Woolley in a spectacular ceremony in Moab, Utah, on October 7, 2023. However, it was noted that Mary did not attend the wedding, and sources revealed that she was unconcerned about not being invited. The source indicated a distant relationship between Mary and Christine, stating that they were never close as sister wives or best friends. Despite the absence from the wedding, Mary remains focused on her ventures and seemingly unaffected by the strained relationship with Christine. Keeping a house clean with little kids around can be a daunting task for any parent. However, a 22-year-old